Right, this is standing waves on a string on a budget. Um, what we have here is we have a speaker um, that I have, I don't know where it's actually from, probably out of some uh, sound system somewhere. Um, I had got a styrofoam ball, so that used to be a solid round styrofoam ball, cut it in half with a knife. Um, you can get these from Spotlight in New Zealand or any other arts and crafts store probably around the world. Um, and then I have just filled the base with uh, hot glue and then just dropped her in. Um, and then what I did is I drilled out a hole through the center and then filled it with hot glue and then dropped a bolt in and then there's a nut at the bottom and a wing nut on top. Um, and that's to fasten a string to. You can also fasten, or you can also put a claw knee plate on there. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So um, you can put a claw knee plate and you can look at claw knee patterns. Um, but that's mostly for cool, not that relatable to, uh, well, it's standing waves in level three. Um, but for this demonstration, we have a string, maybe two meters long. Um, I had it hooked up to a signal generator, but you can probably just, if you keep the amplifier that this came from, you could just hook up to a computer, either or, um, and then we'll flip it on. And we can see that we'll start from the, this is, we have the first harmonic. Ooh. First harmonic. Um, it's a bit fiddly just to get it going, but once it's going, it's all right, and then we'll try and get the second harmonic if we can. Ooh. There we go, so we have the second harmonic. And then we can get the third somewhere. That might be, yeah, that looks yep, like that the looks third good. harmonic. Um, note that the way I've set it up is for some reason this, or the speaker, um, acts as a tension point and the far bit from the speaker to the pole um, is just a bit null. But you can equally tension this, uh, but in this case the speaker is actually kind of pulling on that rope a bit more than it should. Um, and it will go up and try and find the fourth harmonic if we can. I think, oh no, that was wrong direction. I think we have the fourth harmonic there. Right. Eerly yep. visible. And the fifth harmonic is a bit out of reach with this setup. Um, you might, well, I think I might be able to find it. Just becomes increasingly hard to see the envelopes, yeah. doesn't it? But this is standing waves on a budget. Um, this is a really cheap way to make an, uh, an oscillator. Um, normally if you have to buy one of these, they are at least a couple hundred dollars. Um, and you can make small ones, you can make big ones. Um, the sky is the limit. And so another nice little demonstration to do just to reinforce the idea of energy and amplitude um, at the node and antinodes to take a a little paper clip that's open and you can drop it on the node and it'll just hang there quite happily um, but if you try to do that on one of the anti-nodes it just jumps off straight away <laughs>